Yeah. Please fill me with the Rokoko Dash, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. yud heh vav He is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with himself. You shall act upon your love. Yahweh with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Ephesians 5. So imitate God as his dear children, and live a life of love, just as also the Messiah loved us. Indeed, on our behalf, gave himself up as an offering, as a slaughtered sacrifice to God with a pleasing fragrance. Among you, there should not even be mentioned sexual immorality or any kind of impurity or greed. These are utterly inappropriate for God's holy people. Also, out of place, of, out of place are obscenity and stupid talk or coarse language. Instead, you should be giving thanks. For of this, you can be sure. Every sexually immoral, impure, and greedy person, that is, every idol, idol worshiper, has no share in the kingdom of Messiah and of God. Let no one be deceived. Let no one deceive you with empty talk. For it is because of these things that God's judgment is coming on those who disobey him. So don't become partakers with them. For you used to be darkness, but now, united with the Lord, you are light. Live like children of light. For the fruit of the light is in every kind of goodness, righteousness, and truth. Try to determine what will please the Lord. Have nothing to do with the deeds produced by darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of these things of the things these people do in secret. But everything exposed to the light is revealed clearly for what it is, since everything revealed is a light. This is why it says, Get up, sleeper, arise from the dead, and the Messiah will shine on you. Therefore, pay careful attention to how you conduct your life. Live wisely, not unwisely. Use your time well. For these days are evil, so don't be foolish. But try to understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't get drunk with wine, but instead, because it make don't get drunk with wine, because it makes you lose control. Instead, keep on being filled with the Spirit. Sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs to each other. Sing to the Lord and make music in your heart to Him. Always give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Submit to one another in fear of the Messiah. Wives should submit to their own husbands as they do to the Lord, because the husband is head of the wife, just as Messiah is the head of the Messianic community, is himself the one who keeps the body safe. Just as the Messianic community submits to the Messiah, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. As for husbands, love your wives, just as the Messiah loved the Messianic community, indeed gave himself up on, behalf, on its behalf in order to set it apart for God, making it clean through immersion in the mikvah, so to speak in order to present the messianic community to himself as a bride to be proud of, without a spot, wrinkle, or any such thing, but holy without defect. This is how husbands ought to love their wives, their own, their wives, like their own bodies. For the man who loves his wife is loving himself. Why, no one ever hates his own flesh. On the contrary, he feeds it well and takes care of it, just as the Messiah, the Messianic community, because we are the parts of the body. Therefore, a man will leave his father and mother and remain with his wife, and the two will become one. There is a profound hidden truth here. 
which I say concerns the Messiah and the Messianic community. However, the text also applies to each of you individually. Let each man love his wife as he does himself and see that the wife respects her husband. Well, got to go all the way back to the beginning to get this one that Paul, that Shaul, Paul, pulls from the Tanakh. Therefore, a man will leave his father and mother and remain with his wife, and the two will become one. Yeah, it wasn't outdated then 2,000 years ago. It wasn't outdated 6,000 years ago. It's relevant then, the time of Adam and Eve, now. Genesis 2.24, right after the in the beginning. This is why a man is to leave his father and mother and stick with his wife, and they are to be one flesh. Amen. One day. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Ephesians 5? We can learn a lot. We can aim to imitate God as dear children and live a life of love. Aim to love as Messiah loved us. Remember how Yeshua loved us. On our behalf, Yeshua gave himself up as an offering, as a slaughtered sacrifice to yod heh with a pleasing fragrance. Aim to live a life with the goal of no sexual immorality of any kind of impurity or greed. These are inappropriate for yod heh Yah's set-apart people as well as obscenity and stupid talk or coarse language, aim to give thanks. Understand that Shaul says every sexual immoral, per- every sexually immoral, impure, greedy person, idol worshiper has no share in the kingdom of God and of Messiah. Aim to have your speech filled with love and the good news. Aim to obey Yah's written word. Aim to cut yourself off from evil people. Aim to be united and remain united with the Lord. Remember, we are light, so live as children of light. Aim to bear fruit by every kind of goodness, righteousness, and truth. Aim to determine what will please the Lord. Aim to separate yourself from evil deeds and evil people and expose them. Aim not to even speak of the evil things done. Know that all will be revealed clearly in the light. Pay careful attention how you conduct your life. Aim to live wisely. Aim to use your time well. Aim to obtain godly wisdom. Aim to understand what the will of the Lord is. Second time mentioned here. Aim only to be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. Sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs to each other. Sing to the Lord and make music in your heart to Him. Aim to always give thanks for everything, Yah, the Father, in the name of our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah. Submit to one another in fear of the Messiah. Wives should submit to their husbands as they do to the Lord. Therefore, ladies, pick a man who fears the Lord and that you respect so you can actually do what is being said. Know that the husband is head of the wife, just as Messiah is the head of the Messianic community. Know that the husband keeps the body safe. Know that the Messianic community submits to the Messiah, so wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Women should pray wisely when looking for a husband. Husbands are to love their wives, just as the Messiah loved the Messianic community, indeed gave his life on their behalf in order to set it apart for Yah's making it clean through immersion in the mikvah, to be set apart without defect. Shaul shares how husbands are to love their wives, like their own bodies. Women, verify the man you consider to be your future husband. Make sure he loves his body, loves God's word, and is obedient to God's written word. Shaul shares how a man is to love himself, by loving his wife. Therefore, make sure the man you consider as a future husband loves himself in a godly way. Observe others feed them. Observe how others feed themselves. Side note. 
Shaul quotes from Genesis 2.24, all the way back in the beginning 6,000 years ago. That's right, 6,000 years ago in the beginning. Therefore, a man will leave his father and mother and will remain with his wife, and the two will become one. Ask y'all to understand this profound hidden truth here. In conclusion, let each man love his wife as he does himself and see that his wife respects her husband. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? Men can practice love and women can practice respect. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can submit to one another in the fear of the Messiah. Applicable. And with Arianic blessing, yud Hey vav Hey will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahava will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen. <laughs>